So speaking of your personal life, okay. I know that you recently took a break. Yes. Because you had a spinal cord injury. Is that right? Yeah. So in April of this year, like four months ago, I was completely paralyzed from the neck down. That's fucking crazy. Like literally could not even stand up. I couldn't walk. I, my hands were stuck like this. Like I literally couldn't even use my hands. I had to use talk to text on my phone. And they found out it was a vitamin B12 deficiency. Cause like I had been feeling like really weak and tired all the time. Like I, I also was not eating well. Like I'm not very good like with eating. I'm not a great eater. I have like the worst appetite ever. So I wasn't getting any B12 from not eating and my body like was not absorbing it at all. So finally, like, so it started like my knees started feeling tingly one day and I'm like, all right, whatever, not a big deal. Walk it off. And then it goes down like into my calves. And that's when I probably should have like gone to see a doctor. And even then, like, I'm just like, I'm so stupid. I'm just like, it'll go away. Like walk it off. It's fine. Shake it off. But that's when I should have gone because I went to go visit my ex at the time. Um, in New York for his birthday. And it was on the way back, March 21st. I'm walking through JFK airport. And as I'm walking to my gate, my legs stopped working. Like I could not take one more step. Like it took every ounce of energy for me to like move one foot in front of the other. Somehow I like made it to my gate and I almost missed my flight and I'm on the plane and I'm like, okay, fuck, I can't walk. What do I do now? Like what happens? So I'm really good with like survival skills. So I was like, I'm like, okay, I get the flight attendant and I'm like, I need a wheelchair. And she's like, okay, like, are you okay? What happened? Cause you didn't get on the plane in a wheelchair. And I'm like, no, I'm not okay. Like I cannot feel my legs. So she gets me in a wheelchair and finally like I get home. And as soon as I land, I go straight to the emergency room and I'm like, I cannot feel my entire body. My legs are not working. Like every time I try to take a step, it's like all of my energy is going into taking a step. And they didn't admit me. They were like, nothing's wrong with you. So I'm like, okay, obviously there is something wrong with me. So two days later, I'm struggling for my life at this point. And I go back into the emergency room. The doctor literally tells me, oh, you're just uncomfortable. (sighs) Yeah. And I'm like, excuse me, ma'am. I'm like, I cannot walk. Cause you can't like see anything that was wrong with me. Like mm-hmm. from the outside, I was like, I need you to do tests. I was like, I'm requesting a full x-ray of my body. I want to know everything that's going on inside my body. And they didn't do it. So I end up seeing like an outside neurologist who had nothing to do like with this insurance company. And I just paid out of pocket. Cause I'm like, I need to know what's happening. Yeah. And she was the one who got me admitted to the hospital. Cause she, um, she saw me once the week before and, she like wrote in her notes that like last week she walked in here and this week she's in a wheelchair. She can't even move. So apparently like a legal thing is like if a doctor calls another doctor and says this person has to be admitted, they have to do it like mm-hmm. legally. So finally I get admitted and I'm in like the actual hospital for like four days and then they transferred me to a physical therapy rehab and I was there all of April. So <laughs> I went from like literally not being able to move my entire body to like I'm pretty good now like when I walk if I show you you can see that I walk weird but like no one ever even notices it until I say something but all because I fucking didn't have vitamin b12 they it was like undetectable like they couldn't find any in my body Wow. so apparently like that inflames your spinal cord if you don't have vitamin b12 so they just pump me full of vitamin b12 and I'd still take it every single day. I was going to say, you must be taking supplements. Yeah. And my doctor said that like for the rest of my life, each month I have to get a vitamin B12 shot like forever. (laughs) So I'm like, shit. That's kind of like a common thing though that, that, that you can get like, cause it's good for your, like for energy levels and stuff. Like when you see like those health bars, like I see options for vitamin B12 shots. Right. Yeah. I didn't So know. it doesn't sound like something that you need to go to like the hospital for, which is kind of good. Right. Right. But it had like gotten to the point and I had been sick for like months before, like this started like a couple months before I even went to the hospital and I couldn't figure out what was going on. Like I was sleeping through shoots. Like I'm never late. 
I mean, I was late today, but that was no, that's fine. <laughs> my dog was throwing up. That's okay, fine. but um, I like I'm always on top of my shit. I always know like what's going on. I always have my schedule. I always am like on time. And it happens like three, four times to where like I slept through my alarms. I was like an hour late for scenes. I was like being at my schedule, everything. One day I like passed out on set and then they were like, okay, well, you have to go home. You can't do the scene now. So did people think you were on drugs? Yes. Of course they did. Yeah. Because that's like the most logical explanation. Right. And it did seem like I was on drugs, I'm sure. But I don't like my memory went away. Like I have no recollection of like the month before I went to the hospital. I don't even remember going to the hospital. I don't remember like being there. Yeah. So, so yeah, everyone totally thought I was on drugs and I'm like, I'm not, but I also don't know what the hell is going on. And George, um, my agent's assistant, because my agent has been like, um, he's been sick, like dealing with kind of the same thing. Like he's having to relearn how to walk and everything. Cause he had, then he had pneumonia and, so he wasn't even dealing with things. It was his assistant. And he was like, um, he found like a place for me to go. Like he had it all set up and everything that I was going to like go to like an eating disorder place just because like I have trouble eating. Like I'm just horrible with it. But I'm like, I'm not doing it on purpose. Like I'm not like starving mm-hmm. myself on purpose. I'm just like, I can't eat. So he thought it was that. So we like already had a place to go and everything. I was about to go. And that's when like it got really, really bad. And that's when I went to the hospital. So yeah how wait so how because it sounds like you were kind of like immobile for a few days before they admitted you to the hospital like how long were you like wheelchair kind of bound so 10 days from the day I landed from New York that was the day I initially went to the hospital until 10 days after that that was when they finally admitted me um yeah, from that time, that period of time was like a huge difference. Like I could walk a little bit to begin with. And by the end, I couldn't even stand up or move my hands. So that must have been so scary. It was terrifying. Like I thought I was about to die. Like I didn't know what was going on. And they told me had I waited even like two more weeks, I would be dead. Yeah. And I'm like, why did no one do anything when I first went into the hospital? Like, I'm not just making things up. I don't just want to hang out at the hospital. Yeah. Like, it was horrible. I could not even believe. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. Physical therapy, like, really, like, saved me. Like, I, um, I went in there not even being able to walk and I walked out of there. And I told them, like, when I got there, I don't remember this, but <laughs> apparently I was like, when I get out of here, because they told me I would be there three weeks. And I was like, three weeks, that's nothing. I was like, I will be walking out of here by then. And I did it. I'm like, I like made it a whole thing. Like when I left the hospital, they still had to like wheel me out. Like legally they have to, but I'm like, let me out of the wheelchair and at least let me walk through the doors. So I can say that like I walked out of, out of this establishment. So (laughs) So has yeah. that like kind of changed your view like on life since then? Because that sounds totally. kind of, it's, I mean, that's pretty much a near death experience. Like, do yeah. you see things differently? Totally, totally. Like before this, I was, I kind of like given up on life a little bit. Like I just didn't really care about anything. I was just like going through the motions. I was bored, whatever. And now I'm like, I love my life. Like I didn't realize that like. I had so much to live for. Like now I want to do everything. Like I want to, I have not like spent one day by myself since I've been back in LA. Like I've been with friends all the time. Cause I'm like, this is what life is about. Like experiences and like knowing people and like actually doing things instead of like sitting in my house like, and watching TV all day. And that's yeah. like what I was doing before. Cause yeah, know. it's so easy to get stuck in that rut. And sometimes you need something like that to really like jolt you out of it so in a strange way it was almost it was a blessing blessing. yeah I really like I'm actually thankful that it happened because God knows like where I would be now if this didn't happen to me it's so crazy it totally has like changed my entire mindset and like made me a completely different person wow 